Part 1. Impact of Flooding Students will put their goggles on and then smooth the damp sand in the stream table so that the sand is 3 centimeters deep and covers the part of the container away from the drain hole. They should then remove the plug. Starting at the edge of the stream table opposite the drain hole, students will use their finger to make a 1 centimeter deep stream channel through the sand. They will mark the starting point of the stream channel on the edge of the stream table with a piece of masking tape on the top edge or rim of the pan. Instruct students to place gravel randomly along the banks of the stream channel and on the land along the channel. They will place three trees in the model with two near the banks of the stream channel and one at least three centimeters away from the stream channel. Students poke the bushes into the sand along the banks and on the land. They will position the stream table so that a bucket will catch the water as it drains from the stream table. Remember that a block should be under the edge of the stream table away from the drainage hole. Take a digital photograph of the model. Have students draw a diagram of the model in their disruptive events page. Students will hold cup A over the stream table so that the bottom edge of the cup touches or rests on the tape mark for the beginning of the stream channel. They should position the base of the cup to be about 3 centimeters above the sand. They will align the hole in the bottom of the cup to be over the created channel. Holding cup A in place, have students pour 250 milliliters of water into cup A, making sure to allow all of the water to drain into the stream table. They will take a digital photograph of the model. Instruct students to draw a diagram of the model in their disruptive events page and record their observations. Students will then repeat the same process for cup B and clean up their station.